quick tip before you start the video, check out the description box down below. I can't believe I forgot to go to the gym today. That's seven years in a row now. Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're diving into the ultimate workout rule to make sure you get the most out of every session. Whether you're a gym newbie or a seasoned pro, these tips will help you stay on track and make your workouts as effective and enjoyable as possible. If you're ready to get fit, feel great and have a blast, you're in the right place. Exercise is a great way to lose weight, tone, sculpt, and bleed muscles. But have you ever hit a workout plateau? You're not alone. Many of us hit that wall because your bodies are incredibly resilient and adapt quickly to new exercises. Without constantly challenging yourself, you might not see much progress in your weight loss or muscle gain. First of all, let's talk about the workout rules you must break because some of them are not that great. Number one, working out every day. Avoid burnout by following the World Health Organization's guidelines. Adults age 18 to 64 should aim for 150 minutes of moderate exercise or 75 minutes of vigorous exercise weekly, including two days of muscle strengthening. This can be achieved in five or fewer days of workout. Rest is crucial for muscle recovery and preventing overuse injuries, so if you feel worn out, take a break. Number two, the must for sweating. Exercise doesn't have to be intense to be effective. Activities like gentle yoga, body weight exercises, walking, and even house cleaning burn calories and contribute to your daily movement. Incorporating these activities can add up throughout the day and save time on post-workout cleanup. Number three, only the workout that is longer than 60 minutes counts. One of the biggest misconceptions about exercise is that it has to be a full hour of intense effort, which can be intimidating and unrealistic for people with busy schedules. Instead, try incorporating movement throughout your day. Go for a walking meeting or do 10 minutes of yoga before work. These small activities add up over time. Additionally, sitting for long periods can harm your health. Regular movement will make you healthier, more focused and more energized. Number 4. Wearing Fitness Tracker While fitness trackers can be beneficial for some, they're not necessary for a good workout. You can stay in a routine by scheduling workouts in your agenda or calendar as reminders integrated into your day. Even if you do use a fitness tracker, prioritize workouts where you focus on how you feel rather than obsessing over data. Number 5. Being in the gym is a must with current circumstances, going to the gym may not be a top priority or even possible. Fortunately, you can still achieve an excellent workout at home or outdoors. Explore nearby nature trails or paths for a walk or jog instead of using a treadmill. Additionally, there are plenty of body weight exercises you can do at home that don't require any equipment, helping you feel the burn without the need for a gym. These are some of the rules that if you don't follow them, it's better. Now we're gonna get into the golden rules that are better to follow. Rule number one, don't obsess over the scale. Regularly weighing yourself helps track patterns, but weight can fluctuate daily. Obsessing over the scale number isn't productive as it may not reflect progress accurately. Muscle gain can increase weight, but improve physique. Use the mirror for evaluation and take monthly photos to track long-term changes. Rule number two, muscle soreness doesn't always mean gains. Muscle soreness isn't always a sign of muscle growth. While newcomers or less fit individuals may experience soreness with minimal activity, it doesn't always mean effective muscle stimulation. 
Soreness occurs due to small tears in muscle fibers, which can result from both increased activity and challenging exercises that promote muscle growth. Rule number three, switch it up. Varying your workouts not only targets different muscle groups, but also enhances motivation and engagement, increasing adherence to exercise. Muscles adapt to repetitive movements, so switching up exercises is essential for effective sculpting and toning. Group workouts with structured regimens led by instructors are particularly beneficial for ensuring diverse muscle engagement and a comprehensive workout experience. Rule number four, a longer workout doesn't always work. Longer workouts don't necessarily yield better results, which ties into the fourth rule about increasing intensity. Spending an hour exercising isn't effective if the workout lacks intensity and challenge. For example, spending hours on the treadmill multiple times a week won't lead to significant transformations. Instead, opt for shorter, high-intensity workouts that put your limits and regularly switch up exercises for optimal results. Rule number five, rest, rest, and rest. Rest is crucial for allowing your body and muscles to recover and rebuild after workouts. It's during rest that broken muscle fibers are repaired, strength and endurance are rebuilt, and progress is solidified. Neglecting rest can lead to injury and undo any gains made. Ensure you get the recommended seven to eight hours of sleep each night and incorporate rest days into your exercise routine. Don't worry, taking a day off won't set you back. It actually takes up two weeks of inactivity to see a noticeable decline in performance. In summary, these golden rules are the blueprints for optimizing your fitness journey. By incorporating variety, intensity, and rest into your routine, you'll maximize your results while minimizing the risk of injury. Remember, consistency and balance are key. So. Keep pushing yourself, listen to your body, and enjoy the journey to a healthier, stronger you. Like, subscribe, and don't forget to check it at the end of the screen. Bye-bye!